This is Let's Talk Business Radio with your host, Mark Ebinger. Now, here's Mark. All right, first up on the show is Imad Gurgis, the owner of Simply Bookkeeping that provides bookkeeping and financial analysis for businesses. Imad, welcome back to the show. Thanks again, Mark. So it's like tax season is going on now. So oh, yeah. how are you doing? Are you making it through all of this? You know, we're making it. CPAs, they're making it too. A little bit uh, behind, but, you know, we're getting through it piece by piece. So uh, so you're you're not overwhelmed? No, we, we've got a good strategy in place. A uh, good system always helps preparing before uh, tax season, and that's kind of what gets us through it. So what is what are some of the top things that business owners struggle with when running multiple companies, right? Not just one, like that's not enough, right. but let's have two, three, four companies. But there's some challenges there. What are some of the challenges they're facing with respect to the bookkeeping world? Yeah, absolutely. And, and business owners are are very ambitious. You know, they, they open a business and then they start to open up multiple businesses to add value. And that's fantastic. Now, as a bookkeeper or as a business owner, it's really good to understand that you have to keep the finances per business uh, directly with that business itself. So you can't intertwine businesses' finances within one another. Otherwise, things start to get out of hand and a little more confusing. So it's really important to keep those together. That way it's easier to understand and easier to manage because what you can't, um, what you can't manage, you can't control, correct? Yeah, and so robbing Peter to pay Paul kind of thing. It's like, all right, I'm just going to move these funds over here, and it all belongs to me. So that sounds like that would be an okay thing to do. <laughs> yeah, Heather's, yeah. Heather's like, no, I don't think <laughs> yeah. so. Not at all. It seems legit. <laughs> right, it seems legit. I yeah. like that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, but is this a, something that people struggle with, that, that they all do the this? Time. Oh, yeah, and, and a big thing is they just see which account has the most money in it and making <laughs> fun right here and right now, and, you know, Sometimes they just don't understand what's happening in the back in the back office, but it's really important to keep it to that business. Heather will tell you the same. Oh yeah, I was actually telling Ahmad, I am a business coach and I am so bro bookkeeper because so many of my clients who come in and they're trying to save a few bucks mm -hmm. by not having a bookkeeper. And you know, you can probably tell us how does that come to bite you in the end of the day. It always does. You know, it's going cheap now. Might be a maybe a savings for right now but it always comes back later and later means even more than it would have cost in the beginning mm -hmm. um, as a bookkeeper our main goal of course is to also be able to save you uh, taxes as legally as possible and how we can make that work for you um, and so by having a good you know qualified bookkeeper they'll actually be able to save you money rather than cost you money mm -hmm. so that's that's of course always our ultimate goal i like how you said legally Yep. You threw that in there. We can save he you said on as taxes. legally as possible. Legally. <laughs> yep. Well, the other thing is it makes it a lot easier when you go to get a mortgage if your books are in good shape. Because if you're commingling funds, no bueno. Yep. Absolutely. No bueno. Absolutely. No, no bueno. It really makes it hard to, to put the whole puzzle together and to make that a smooth transaction. Yep. And it's good for them to understand their cash flow, their budgets, what they can and can't afford. And by giving a good set of books to a, to a lender uh, to evaluate... It makes it good. It's a happy day for everyone. <laughs> so when it comes to, do you need more than one set of books when you have, how does that work when you have multiple companies? Do you have to have multiple QuickBooks accounts? How does that work? Good, good question, Mark. So the best way to do it is yes, to have a, se a specific set of books per company. Now, let's say you picked me as, a, as your bookkeeper to manage your four companies. I would have each set of books for each company separate. But then what I could do is evaluate everything as a whole, so kind of step back, look at everything in a grand picture, and then really be able to give you that uh, cash flow analysis or the budgeting as a whole uh, from your enterprise you know, picture. But it all starts with having books and specific finances per company. Is that a separate QuickBooks account for each company then? And then how would you then look at all of them? Or do you just run different reports and bring all the reports together? So how does that even work? Right, so you would start with having a separate QuickBooks account for each okay. uh, or whatever uh, accounting software that you prefer. And then what we would do is you would understand how the business owner operates, whether they're moving money or funds from one company to another to invest in other properties. You would be able to track the money flow between each company's on the book. So you could see at any moment in time, oh, I've spent you know 10000 from this company, but it moved over to you know company B. And so you're able to, to track all that money as it goes, goes and flows. 
And this is fun for you, right? Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I don't get it. The I more mean, you go, the better. I'm, I'm having trouble breathing over here. You know, it's like it's a little bit stressful. Well, yeah. And one of the big things, you know, I talk about with clients, you know, a lot of the time businesses they they have two things that they want to solve. They want more money and they mm. want more time. So obviously mm-hmm. bookkeepers cost money, but when you're coming in and you're fixing books that have been maintained probably incorrectly, let's be honest, about how much time does it take for you as a professional to untangle those? Right. So, I mean, and, and we've talked about this on a previous show. Let's say it's uh, they're one year behind. A year behind will take about about a month, just to, between wow. two weeks and a month, wow. just to be able to go through every single transaction, all their assets, all their liabilities, and make sure everything's uh, correct and where it needs to be. And that's you as a professional. If you had to just guess... How long would it take someone who is not a professional to comb through all of that, say, for tax season? It would probably take them the same amount of time to do it all wrong. (laughs) I love that. So you're spending a month of your time, which is not building your business, is not contributing to your revenue, and is taking up the time you could be spending doing that or spend with your family. Right. You're probably still getting the books wrong. Right. In, How valuable is that? In the end of the day, it just it just makes more sense. They understand where they are. They can make more educated decisions, and it'll help their business as a whole in the long run. Absolutely. So, Tracy, you mentioned earlier that it, you love it when people have their books together like right. that. So, is that common that people have their act together with a bookkeeper, or is it less Not common? Not as common as we would like it to be. Right. So, in the scheme of things, I think a lot of people, especially, and, and Heather would probably speak to this, is you know when you're first new in business, right? You're trying to figure, you're trying to do everything, and you get to a certain point in time, and it's like you're like I'm not going to put Novocaine in my own mouth and then try and drill, you know, fill, do a filling for myself. You have to figure out where the experts are to be able to help you. So, especially we do a lot with um, self-employed individuals. And so we need tax returns whenever we're doing that. And he's and what Ahmad does is he's a key piece in making sure that those tax returns can come together. Because if we have to put something together on the fly, which we've had to do, all of a sudden it's creating emergencies for other people. And it's going to cost the individual more because they're going to have to take time at that point to be able to fix the emergency. So we love it when tax returns look good. <laughs> We hey. love it when people understand they do not commingle funds because we'll get personal accounts and business accounts and things are going like this. And yeah, it's, it's not good. And Imad, so are people coming to you when they're upside down backwards like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when they're when they're desperate for uh, for an answer yeah. is really when when they come and they say, hey, we we need it in a month or two months. And we're, you know, two, three, four years behind. Yeah, there's a word for that. It's called procrastination. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And being cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's really messy. Yeah. And how, oh, sorry. All right. Well, yeah, we're at the end of your segment. I'm on. If folks want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? Absolutely. So, the best way is check us out online at, at simplybookkeeping.com. And that's simply with an I. So, S I M P L I. If they want to give us a call, best number is 832. 832- 518-9368. Again, that's 832-518-9368. And either myself or one of our team members would be happy to be able to help them. Thanks, Iman. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Mark.